uh, welcome back everybody now the session is all about uh, persistent disk okay what is persistent disk so uh, any disk which you will not be losing it um, after terminating a uh, current virtual machine that is running in Google Cloud Platform let's say that whenever you create a virtual machine um, the image that you select uh, while creating virtual machine you will have that disk also created and that lifetime the uh, lifetime of the disk is uh, the lifetime of the instance so persistent disk is uh, you will have a persistent disk created you can create it by snapshot you can create a uh, boot disk like uh, in the previous video now uh, we will be creating a blank persistent disk so once you create a persistent disk and attach it to an instance even if you terminate the instance you don't lose the persistent disk so you will still have that so, okay the minimum size of a, pers a persistent disk is uh, 10 gig and the maximum size as you can see here is 64 gig and uh, you can attach uh, 16 persistent disks to any given instance so uh, it is not that uh, you can attach 16 64 terabyte instance uh, disks but all together put together you can only have 64 terabyte uh you can you can you can uh, have uh, one disk as 200 gb one disk as uh, 5 terabyte so something like that you you can create the maximum size of a disk is uh, 64 terabyte even the maximum size that you can have for instance is the same 64 terabytes okay so this is it you can read this uh, let's get into uh, practical now so before that uh, let me just clear that uh, whatever we are uh, seeing it here so I have just erased the drawings. Okay, if you see here, the I have currently two virtual machines created. For these two virtual machines created, I have two disks created uh, by these instances. If I terminate uh, either two instances or one of these instances, even the disks disappear because these disks are um, given uh, in the in the process of creating those virtual machines. I'm talking about creating persistent disks. Okay, uh, instead of uh, saying so many times persistent disk, uh, let me just uh, tell you what it is. Uh, here, uh, you come to disks. Uh, you see only two because you have two virtual machines running. Create a disk, and you can see uh, PD persist. Okay, caps not allowed. Uh, persistent disk one. Okay, I've, I've just named this as persistent disk one. So instead of creating it uh, image, I don't want to do it because I don't want to create boot disk here. So I have no snapshots uh, at this moment. We will be covering in the next chapter. So this is a blank disk, right? So the minimum size is 10 GB. So you can the minimum. So if I try to put even 9, it will not be accepted because the minimum disk is uh, the 10 GB. And if you see here, the maximum that you can give is uh, 65,000, some five, 500 and something. So you, that you can see here, 65,536 is what the maximum that you can give. If I 65,536, okay, uh, 536 is the maximum. I give 537. So see here, the maximum is 65,536. So I don't want to anyways, uh, gonna not going to create 65,536, which is 64 terabyte. I don't want to, you know, consume all my free tier uh just for this tutorial so let me just be very minimum and then uh, create the 10 uh, here uh, uh this is blank so i'm creating a blank right so create here whenever i create this uh, blank right this is blank there, there's no file system on it so when you go attach this disk to any instance this will be attached to that instance but you cannot use that space unless and until you create uh a file system so if it is windows you may have to go go about uh, ntfs if it is uh, linux maybe ext2 uh, sorry ext3 or ext4 i think ext3 is uh, outdated so you can go ahead and create ext4 so the uh, let me just uh, first uh, go to instances and uh, i want to uh, attach this to uh, linux virtual machine so if you want to attach uh, the disk to linux virtual machine you just have to um, click on that and edit here so do you see edit here on top of it so edit here and then come down 
you must be seeing additional disks here okay so pd1 and remember guys if you want to attach the same disk to multiple instances that is possible but you should be attaching it in read only mode so because uh, when you want to attach a disk to multiple instances that should be read only mode so remember this point if you if you want to attach a disk to uh, uh, read and write mode then uh, you will not be allowed the same disk to be attached to something else so we, we will just see that so i am trying to make it to read and write because i want to create file system and i want to uh, create some files so the i i want to read that is nothing but creating files is nothing but reading uh, sorry writing so pd1 and read and write here and come down here and then click save so it should take uh, around three four seconds and then uh, it must have been uh, attached now if you click on vm go again vm and then if you if you scroll it down you must be seeing that uh, so this is the disk first boot disk and this is additional disk okay so by just clicking ssh here there will be a window opens so to log into it right so i've already opened that so clear if i just uh, if i want to list how many number of block devices that i've attached to any instance you can just type in lsblk so because see here so this is the boot disk this is boot disk so 10 gig so if you see here this is what we've attached this is the disk okay so let me just uh, type in a command sudo file hyphen s and dev sdb see here you see data here if you see data here you can pretty much say that there is no file system on it okay you can argue that uh, okay uh, prove it okay i want to prove it so i'm just going to type sudo what i'll be doing is uh, checking the same command for this particular uh, partition so that you'll understand what I'm talking about as the a1 see here they have created XF XFS file system on it but uh, I want to create uh, ext4 maybe this is not file system class maybe you can uh, surf and uh, type of file systems so for that sudo make a make file system hyphen t ext4 and dev and sdb if i click now so it will ask uh, do you want to uh, proceed uh, with uh, creating file system i would say yes the file system is created now so th let's execute the same command what we've executed so now it should not be um, giving us it is data so let me just uh, copy that command and then paste it here so execute so see here this is now linux file system the same command have shown us the data before so we have successfully created a file system there right so now again now uh, we should be uh, now lsblk right lsblk will show us that but we you cannot really use that so if you want to use that clear screen and now df hyphen h if you see df hyphen h the maximum that you're seeing it is in here is 10 gig so i want to create a mount point here which is nothing but uh, first to create a mount point we need to have a directory created so sudo mkdar mount so i'm just giving it as uh, mount okay so it is already exist so let me create with another name mkdar pavan so let me just create with pavan so it is created now and uh, the existing uh, disk let's just uh, attach the disk with this mount point sudo mount so if you want to uh, do mount right the, the mount is a command mount and dev 
एस डी बी एंड देन पावन सो पावन इज ए माउंट पॉइंट हियर एंड देन दिस इज एस्क एंड दिस इज अ कमांड दिस इज टू गेट ए रूट परमिशन let me just uh, type this see here in the earlier time when we searched here there is no pavan displayed here but now if i type the same command you will be able to see pavan here with the 10 gig so point uh, 200 mb will be occupied by operating system to create the uh, uh, file system so uh, this is it you you've done right so uh, now the same way if you want to remove this that right fast a pseudo and one more thing guys uh, if you restart this machine or if you stop and start this machine you will not be seeing this if you want to make this uh, mount point permanent uh, then what you need to do is vi etc fs tab you need to uh, edit that i think uh, we should do this with uh, pseudo if you edit that the same way you need to uh, type in here the same way what you're seeing here uh, you need to uh, type in uh, um, this maybe you you can go search uh, what is that all about so now uh, i wanted to unmount sudo u mount hyphen pavan so if i execute the same command again df hyphen h you will not be seeing uh, you will not be seeing that pavan here the mount point here that means it disappeared so again if you come back to this instance you can now detach that instance go to edit pd1 you can detach that yeah so this is it so we are done with attaching and then we are done with the uh, detaching so now these are all independent disks see here this is independent now so uh, just 5 minute back if we would have checked uh, here used by the instance uh, we can see now uh, let's just reattach the same thing now come here come to vm and then click edit here and then come attach the additional disk here see now i'm again i'm attaching with read and write let's save that and come to disks here see here you can see that pd1 is attached to linux vm now so the same thing we've attached with read and write so now let's go ahead and uh, try attaching the, uh, this to the uh, second instance here i'm clicking on second instance here and then again clicking on edit here see here so additional disk and then i'm they, you cannot see it so you cannot see it but uh, if i go change to this linux uh, vm disk in read only mode so let me just in in here instead of read and write if i just click read only here and then save no matter you attach in read on read and write or read only mode you still see this instance is used by that particular vm because we have attached this uh, pd1 to linux vm in a read only mode so you can attach the same disk with multiple virtual machines this is this is all i wanted to tell you now see here earlier you were you were not able to see even if you are trying to Uh, see with read and write mode you cannot see here you cannot uh, attach it see if, if i just save here you will have an error shown on this page let's wait for that error so do you see this error here editing virtual machines so because you cannot attach a read and write uh, disk with anything so even though we, you have attached uh, in the first vm in read only but you are trying to attach here in read and write mode see here in read and write mode so instead of that if we try to attach it in the read only mode that should take it 
show uh, close the arrow and then uh, attach it now now see here i've selected read only mode here and then come back and save it now you will not have any errors here right so no matter if i log in here see here you will still once again So uh, LSBLK, let me just clear the screen, zoom it for you, LSB, oh sorry guys, okay, LSBLK, see here, you, you are able to see it, the disk here, so this is attached to first instance. So this is what host name. Let, let me just type host name here. This is Linux VM. So the same disk we've attached to another instance. And uh, here the host name is what? Host name. So this is instance two. Let, if I do LSBLK now, see here you still be able to see it. Now you can directly if you try executing that command sudo file hyphen s and then uh, dev sdb see here in the first time when we checked it so in the first instance it was showing uh, data but because we've created in this particular virtual machine um, a file system on top of the disk you have that uh, file system available so that means you can create a mount point here so df-h just to show there's nothing here uh, there's no pavan or mount point here let me just uh, sudo mkdar uh, pavan and then uh, sudo mount dev sdb ma, uh, pavan so this will be see here when when i do that command executed right you can see that you can pretty much see that see here you can pretty much see that but what did it tell you so it is mounting read only because you've attached this disk in the console in read only why why do why did we attach in read only because we want to share that disk between two instances so that is the purpose of uh, uh, having a shared disk you can only have it in read only okay if you want it to be right only to uh, additional instance again you can do unmount here and then uh, detach it from this instance and then go to another instance and you can put it in um, go edit instance and then change it to read and write okay that, that's it for today guys hope you enjoyed the session please do subscribe um, happy learning bye